I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Ah, come on, it's only for two days. Look, Elliot, my name, my reputation, and my skills have made this club a success. And what do I get in, in return? I'll tell you what I get. I get your friend, Mr. Mickey Dials. You take off for a couple of days and you leave that, that bartender in charge of the club. Are you making a mountain out of a molehill? I want it on the record that I consider it a slap in the face. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. Oh, come on, Elliot. You know that you would do absolutely anything to get my goat, regardless of the consequences to the club. And here I was, thinking I was doing you a favor. Oh, really? How do you figure that? Hmm? Well, I was thinking you were so busy in the kitchen that adding another responsibility to your heavy duties would be too much. Oh. Well, the next time you consider doing me such a favor, Elliot, do me a real favor. Don't do it. Well, the club doesn't seem to be any the worse for the experience. It was like making a peasant king for a day. He went completely berserk. Oh, really? He spent the better part of two nights table hopping and, and, and mingling with the guests. Well, I've got nothing against a congenial host. Well, there is such a thing as being too friendly. He ordered a free drink for every person he shook hands with. Didn't forget to order one for himself. <laughs> I'll ask him about that. Well, you're right to ask him also how he messed up all of the reservations and why he didn't do any kind of work which he didn't consider fun. You know what, Antoine? I think you're just jealous. Really? The worst part is the total lack of respect he showed for me. Most of the time, he refused to acknowledge my existence. And when he did, it was to treat me like, like, like a dishwasher. That's funny. I get along well with Mickey. Oh, well, I'll tell you one thing, Elliot. The next time you decide to, to take some time off, I will be left in charge of the club. Are you telling me what I should do? Elliot, if I can't make you listen to reason, I know someone who can. Don't threaten me, Antoine. I'm not kidding this time, Elliot. I won't hesitate at all to go over your head and speak to Margot. I am sure she will see the good sense in leaving me in charge. And she will also make you listen. Don't waste your time, Antoine. There may not be a next time for you. Now, who's threatening who, huh? <sighs> no, I was merely implying that, um, If going away creates such friction, uh, I simply won't <laughs> go away the next time. Get that door, will you? If you'll excuse me, I have work to take care of. You ever start a fan club for me? I don't think Antoine's going to be a charter member. Oh, boy. Antoine says you ignored him most of the weekend. Why don't you teach me how to pretend he's not around? <laughs> the great round hope kept coming over and telling me what I should be doing, you know? Got so bad, I finally had to tune him out. <laughs> Where about his allegations that you were drinking of most of the profits? Oh, look, I might have gotten carried away with the complimentary drinks, but it was Antoine who was acting like Diamond Jim. Oh, really? What do you mean? That guy can spend cash. He must have made about three or four trips to the cash box. Great. Let him make all the trips to the cash box he wants. But let him just write it all down in that little book I gave him. Well, he writes it down. You don't think Antoine would try and cheat you? You're <laughs> uh, Hello, my darling. Working hard? Margo, how are you doing? Yes, glad to hear from you. I was just sitting here, trying to think pleasant thoughts when suddenly this very handsome restaurateur popped into my mind. Oh, you flatter me. No, I miss you. In fact, I'm in too good a mood to sit behind this desk all night working, so I thought maybe I would come over to the Unicorn and have dinner with my husband. Unless, of course, he's too busy. No, that sounds like a fine idea. Matter of fact, the timing couldn't be more perfect. Oh, for what? Margaret, there is something I uh, wish to talk to you about. So I'll see you in a little while, huh? Bye, darling. Is Mrs. Dorn coming over? Yes, Mickey, Mrs. Dorn is coming over to celebrate the good mood she's in, and by the time she leaves, we'll have a good mood of our own to celebrate. Whatever you say, Mr. Dorn. It's guaranteed, Mickey. Tonight is the night we teach Antoine some humility. <laughs> One good-looking table. Well, I'm glad you like it. Wait you. till you see how appetizing it looks when all the goodies I've prepared are on those plates. Mm, well, for you to go to so much trouble, there must be a special mm. occasion. It's not our birthdays, and it's not our anniversary. No, but it is a very special occasion. Uh -huh. It happens to be our first intimate, romantic, candlelit dinner alone in our new home. Mm, right. And it may be the last one we'll have, so let's enjoy oh, it. Oh, I think I just lost my appetite. 
Paper, I'm sorry, but I really didn't mean that to hurt you. Well, it does hurt me. I mean, I feel like a heel. Why? Why? It's not your fault that the, uh, one of the best legal firms in the country has discovered something that I've known all along. That you happen to be one of the best legal minds in the country. They'd be foolish not to scoop you up. I would be foolish to turn them down. I know. I do know. Draper, I love you. And your success means as much to me as it does to you. And as for the house, we will find another house in New York. And there are more TV stations in New York than there are anywhere east of Monticello. I'm sure somewhere I can get a job. The only thing that, that will be hard is having to leave some people who mean a lot to me. But I've taken care of that, too. Oh, how have you taken care of that? Well, I was thinking that if I could visit Monticello every once in a while, mm -hmm. I could do that. That's... Then I will be happy in New York. That's fine. And that's, that's a very reasonable compromise. There are a lot of people here who mean a lot to me, but if the most important person in my life is going to be in New York, well, then that's exactly where I intend to be.